We already went over every other weapon in God of War Ragnarok besides the Blades of Chaos, so why not finish up with that with all of the Chaos Flame locations necessary to upgrade your Blades of Chaos to level 9. Just like the Axe and Spear, you'll need to find the locations of Flames used to upgrade them and only need to find the hidden locations of 3 Chaos Flames as the rest will be unlocked throughout the story. All three of these Flames will be in hidden locations that don't really have anything to do with the story, but are entirely new locations you might not have found yet, so be aware if you don't want any spoilers for any side missions or map spoilers, you can come back to this guide once you've completed the Crucible favor, which I have a guide on, and then the Scent of Survival favor automatically given in the story. So getting started, our first Chaos Flame necessary to upgrade our Blades of Chaos to level 7 will require you to head over to where the Crucible favor took you, Muspelheim. Although the Crucible and Muspelheim in general can be a pretty intimidating area, especially on higher difficulties, all you have to do for this one is complete the first 6 challenges, which are the easiest ones that the Crucible has to offer. After your sixth challenge, you'll find the Chaos Flame within a Nornir chest in the center in front of Brock and Sindri's shop. Our second Chaos Flame requires you to have completed the Scent of Survival Favor, which will take you to a hidden section of Vanaheim called the Crater. If you head over to this area of the map here, you'll be able to start the Return of the River Favor after Mimir makes a comment about returning to the other side of the river. Right around the corner is an elevator which will take you to the back of the area here where you can burn some ferns and spin a wheel to release the water from the dam. Now that water has filled the crater, you can head over to the sinkholes where you'll find a berserker tombstone, similar to what we had to do for the flames on the other weapons. We'll have to defeat this berserker who drops a chaos flame. And this is also the area where there should be a troll waiting to smack you down. Getting our third chaos flame is fairly simple, but requires a bit more work because you'll need to travel around to six different draugr holes and eliminate them. Each one of these will drop a chaos spark with six sparks forming into a chaos flame. Bloody monsters to hell. So starting off with the apple core, if you don't have this mystic gateway here, you're going to have to start in the Arvangar wetlands, take the ferry up to the spurred sands, and then take the elevator shaft down towards the mines. We'll eventually be able to make it towards that mystic gateway where we'll be heading from. Now back at Midgard's Lake of Nine, we will find our next Draugr Hole. Kratos' wolves will make it a pretty quick trip from any mystic gateway around, but it's going to be over towards King's Grave, or at least towards the path to King's Grave. Now we're back at the crater, and we already went over how to get here by following the Scent of Survival favor, but then you can just take your boat from the nearby Mystic Gateway over to the Draugr Hole across the river. In the regular old portion of Vanaheim, you can find our next Draugr Hole in the Abandoned Village. And if this is your first time back here since the story, just follow the path that I take and you should have no problem getting there. If you end up having like a sort of wooden fence in front of your path here because you don't have that mystic gateway, you probably just need to change the time of day. Huh. <laughs> 
more Draugr crawling out of a bloody ground. You can find your next Draugr hole in the Barrens of Alfheim, where you will most likely have to do the Secrets of Sand's favor prior to getting this Draugr hole in order to uncover it. I don't think you can do too much roaming around here without doing that favor. It kind of forces you to do it. Going over towards the Bay of Bounties, the Watchtower, you will find a Draugr hole next to a Raven shortly after climbing up. But that is pretty much it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more God of War Ragnarok videos. We have now covered every weapon, and I'll have a guide up soon on all of the best armor sets. See ya.